All right. <laughs> People are freaking out a little bit about my post where I said that Trump is actually going to appear on Joe Rogan's show on Friday. I'm getting two kinds of comments. The comments that I'm getting for the left are, he's getting paid. Wait, hang on. I was sitting in my neighbor's parking spot and they pulled in. Um, comments that I'm getting from the left are, it's like, Rogan's getting paid. Big check, big check. Russia, Elon, pay. Rogan has a $200 million contract <laughs> from Spotify. Nobody's paying Rogan to do this interview, I don't think. And I've certainly seen no evidence of that. Um, and the bots and the Rogan simp boys are like, oh man, this is going to be a slam dunk for Trump. To Trump can't piece together a sentence. He can't stay on message. He can't follow his teleprompter when he's at his rallies. He can't form coherent thoughts. He's sundowning constantly. His campaign has been canceling interviews and events left and right because they say he's exhausted. And people are saying, well, it's a three, you know, his shows are three or four hours long. Trump's not going to sit there for three or four hours. They'll let him sit there for 30 minutes, if that. Um, yes, Rogan's camp is in discussions with Kamala's representatives about her appearing on the Joe Rogan experience. Um, I think that would be amazing. She would sit there for three hours. But all of these Rogan simp boys and mega chuds who just suck down their talking points, you know, like an old man in a diner with some soup, they're 100% utterly convinced that Kamala Harris is just dumb, that she's stupid. And they're like, Rogan would walk all over her. And I think that's legitimately the most comical thing that I've heard in quite some time. Kamala would eat his lunch and would do so in a very calm, thoughtful, and methodical manner. They're like, she doesn't even have any talking points. I mean, all the people are saying that she's not capable of doing it are people who've never listened to her. They've never listened to one of her speeches. They've never listened to a full interview that she's given. They've just seen little snippets and clips of things that have been manipulated on the internet. Um, Rogan has said repeatedly that he's never voted for a Republican. He is in no way, shape, or form a Trump supporter. He doesn't want to do anything to help Donald Trump. And it's my hope that Rogan would actually press him a bit during this interview. Uh, in, instead of, you know, treat it like when he interviews people like Jordan Peterson or Elon Musk, uh, you know, and, and just kind of goes into sycophancy mode but who knows man maybe they'll just have a bro down with one another um i don't know what to expect at this point uh you know rogan was an rfk supporter he wanted rfk to win <laughs> so who knows man but i hope trump goes on i hope he bombs and comes off looking like a complete moron and I hope Kamala goes on and sits there for at least a couple hours and has a discussion with him. Um, he, Rogan knows when he's talking to somebody who's smarter than him. He's smart enough to know that. So we'll see what happens.